AOS Shalom. O praise the Yahweh Shem Yah Shah Bashem Rakal Kadash. I want to see you post the others going most later real well. And Shalom to all the brothers out there doing the work is there in truth. That's the brother I'm on from the Jimmy's London camp. Um Yeah, got this article is basically talking about, you know, after the attacks that happened in uh in New Zealand, now they're um, you know, turning, you know, have turned their eye onto the internet and they're basically, you know, trying to say like, oh, okay, you know, these online breeding grounds for, uh, you know, for terrorists, you know, now they're looking at them white boys, you know, them right wing terrorists. But let me, I'll get into it. It says, um... It's on The Guardian. It says, thousands of Britons using extreme far-right online forums. And it says, analysis finds huge number of Britons using forums that spread extremist ideology. It says, what thousands of Britons are regularly using online forums that espouse right-wing extremism. As experts say, the UK is facing a new wave of anti-Muslim hatred. And it's funny how now ESOS flipped it to where, you know... Before it was like these fucking Muslims in this, you know, disgusting country, this country, doing violent acts, criminal acts. Now, you know, after that, now it's like okay, these far right, and then that lets lets them put the lens on 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 the internet, which you know if they're if they're highlighting that and they're saying you know these forums and these this, you know they're gonna be looking to that that means you know the famine of the word could be uh, have a, have a decent bit to do with that man. Because it's more or less a thing where they're just looking, look, you know, looking under every nook and cranny for anyone that ever said anything. So they're just, and then it might just, they're look, it's looking like they just want to make it a thing where they can just be like, look, you've, um, you know, you guys have, uh, have been, well, they're basically going to spread, you know, it's, it's going to start highlighting different kinds of groups because now they're just looking for the far right. But then they're going to say, okay, you know, extreme views on the internet, blah, 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 this, this, that. Let me let me read it more, man, because it kind of, it, it goes into different points. But you kind of have to unravel it. It says, an indicator of the evolving challenge is MI5's recent move to wrest control over investigating far right plots across... The statutory threshold to be considered terrorism from the police. Which, yeah, that's true. Whenever it's a white boy, it's, uh, you know, a deranged gunman. But as soon as, you know, it's any of the other nations, then it's just, oh, terrorist. It says what, uh, the security services are currently investigating potential contact between a uh, Chris Christchurch gunman and UK right-wing extremists. Yeah, so they're, you know, kind of looking to spread all these white boys that have been getting, uh, you know, their feathers ruffled, feathers ruffled by, you know, this uh, this uh, one world, one people agenda, the global globalised agenda. Now they're being focused on it. So analysis by the anti-fascist charity, Hope Not Hate, so like, okay, let me skip down. It's a circle on the League Commission, blah, blah, blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, so it says I have deep concern about the right, far right, and its devastating impact on individuals, communities, and our democracy. A frightening amount of legal extremist content online was fueling far right activism. Yeah, so that legal extremist content online, they just they could just start shutting down everything. Because the thing is, is like you know they might start shutting down certain forums, certain websites. But it's the same thing with, like, whenever shit like that happens, then they'll just go on YouTube and be like, okay, we're going to completely restrict these kinds of X kind of videos or Y kind of videos. Because that's more or less what these guys are looking to do. They're looking to make it a thing where they're going to use certain events and then use that as a broad stroke over everyone so they can basically be like, okay. And the thing is, the truth's going to come under that because they, they know the word's done coming out. Man, are all up in the news. Man, are, you know, man, know the word's... Uh, flowing out there and that's the main thing Esau's looking to restrict these you know these far right activists Esau's the one that's been building building all those things up man like they said a lot um, actually I don't even know if I read that 
Welcome, Reed. It says, security service have placed the threat from right-wing extremist ideology alongside Islamist and Northern Ireland-related terrorism. They ha have said they're investigating very sharp hide cases in relation to the far right. So, you know, now that's where, where, where they're looking at. But the thing is, is, it doesn't even matter. Just like they would use in Islam and then using that to take away certain rights and now they're using, uh, you know, those far right uh, terrorists to take away certain rights. Esau's basically utilizing whatever, you know, whatever um, events happen. And these events, he's, he's orchestrating a lot of them. When a lot of these events go down, he's basically just going to be utilizing it. Like, okay, well, this is, uh, well, seeing as this happened, now uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all them rights away, man. It's the same, you know. The what was revealed at uh you know nine eleven, where they, they had that Patriot Act push through. That's the thing. That's how you saw moves. You know, problem, reaction, solution. Because imagine like. The problem previously, was like okay you know the Muslim extremist terrorists, ah oh, fucking hell, Muslim extremist terrorists, but now it's like okay. They're Muslim extremists. Now now the reactions come out of, of you know, these far-right extremists. So Esau's going to say, look, no, we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to, look, what we're going to have to do is too dangerous. There's all kinds of groups. Okay, we're going to, what we need to do is we need to get everyone chipped. Thing is, Esau, know, Esau knows what he wants. Esau knows he wants, what he wants in the end is that ch is everyone chipped. He wants that uh, mark of the beast out in force. You know, he has his desires, man. And that's what he's looking to work towards. Says what? Um, okay. So, so far, though, they have not revealed how many of the 700 or so live terror plots and 20,000 individuals classified as close, closed subjects, closed subjects of concern, people who have previously been investigated and may pose a future threat are related to white right-wing extremism. MI5 has said, however, that the volume of far-right cases is absolutely dwarfed by the number of Islamics, Islamist cases. So, basically, what everyone's getting up in a fuss about, just because it's a recent attack, they're basically saying it's not even on that much of a scale compared to the Muslims coming out. So that's how much confusion... Now it's, it's like everyone's forgotten. No one's even thinking about some guy in a hijab, in a, in a, in a, you know, in a hijab with a beard on it, some, some Arab with a beard from a cave somewhere blowing some shit up. Now they're more worried about some white white boy gunmen. So, but then that's but the thing is is, it's the ridiculousness of it, is just that it's a thing where. Um, what, basically it's purely based on, just like whatever the media has most recently said. It doesn't matter about you know the likelihood of it happening or the actual facts. It's just whatever the media's in hysteria about. That's what everyone's getting scared of. Because now everyone's talking about, okay, we need to do this, we need to do that. All these white boys need to be watching. But then a second ago, it was like, fuck them Muslims. It's basically a thing where whatever, the elites, is orchestrated. Whatever they, the elites decide, okay, we're going to point the finger at this. Then everyone's just there, like, now everyone, all they're talking about is, oh, yeah, them fucking white boys, this, that. I'm like, hold on, them white boys were, were always a threat. They've been done been shooting up schools and all that. But now it's like, okay, because some Muslim, I'm like, now just because of a specific event. They're showing you that Esau is basically, he's, he's just going to utilise events, man. It's going to be a thing about whenever, an event, you know, depending on which event comes to pass, then they'll basically utilise that to, to gain whatever, um, you know, whatever chain laws they want passed, you know, whatever parts of their plan they want to implement. It says the government's latest assessment of efforts to counter terrorism sheds interest and light on the evolving far-right threat. It says that until 2014, extreme right-wing activity was confined to small established groups with an older membership, which promoted anti-immigration and white supremacist views. Yeah, so, them old school, like, IRA motherfuckers. <laughs> them guys, them guys go in, were going the fuck in, man. Them guys were blowing shit the fuck up, like no man's business. People like to forget about that. And that was like the 90s, man. It wasn't even too long. I was talking to an Irish dude about that. He's saying, like, it's fucked. Then, man, we're just sending letters saying, look, we're going to blow up this. Then they'll just blow the shit. Like, you know how fuck that is? Then, man, was Sister Matt, but everyone forgot all about that until just now. It says what, um... 
than white supremacist views. The thing is, that's what a lot of these guys are getting down with. And the thing is, Brexit has brought out an agitation. And because and the shit deal that Theresa May went to be done, they're saying, Brexit's been betrayed. <laughs> you idiots. What the hell are you, what are you looking to gain from it anyway? So, and it says what, um, so them, you, them guys, are, that, that's, that's going to be another angle. They could say, look, these guys have got these YouTube channels, we've got these different movements. We need to lock down on this. We're going to restrict access. All the, you know, it says, uh, four extreme right-wing terror pots were followed in the year, in the year to June, 2018, fueling disquiet over online forums, forums, and their ability to disseminate extremist ideology. Joe Mulhall a researcher for Hope Not Hate said global audience for chat rooms and messaging sites that effectively and quickly spread hate speech ran into the hundreds of thousands. We know that because we can look at the forums for which these people engage and see they have hundreds of thousands of people on them. Yeah, so now it's just a matter of you could you could have just been looking on the internet for something completely different and dropped in on that and looked at it. And because your IP's been tracked, they're like, okay, now you're on the list. <laughs> It says, messages left on the online gaming server in December illustrated the issue. Neo-Nazis from Europe and the US used pseudonyms to exchange racist views and glorified violence. Some of the chat logs involved. Yeah, some of these people, well, you've got these whack jobs out there. A lot of the thing is, a lot of these people online will just be talking smack. But then a lot of them are looking to, uh, what do you call it? Well, you know, some of them are actually getting indoctrinated, man. <laughs> And it says what latest figures documenting cases referring to the UK extremism, blah, 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 statistics. Okay, but you know, it's mainly a thing where it's like, this, you know, everyone's on the far right now. It's not, it's not really as big as a thing as far as, you know, looking at the whole scope of terrorism as it seems to be making it. So it's just, you know, they're making a big fuss and it's an orchestrated fuss. That's how the elites get down. They orchestrate a fuss. They get everyone you know, to lose their shit, then they can make changes, man. And what's been going on? The word's been blowing up, man. You've been all up in the news. Everyone's been hearing it, even though they've been hearing it incorrect, you know, that black Hebrew Israelites. They've been hearing about the Hebrew Israelites. So a lot of people will be looking up, looking up, checking that. And you know the elites know, damn, okay. Because uh, Google keeps track of, like, you know, how much certain terms are searched and things like that. You would have seen a spike in searches. And he told me, like, yo, we can't have that. Man's going to need, we need something to take that net down. Lo and behold, this happens. And it's all related to the internet as well. Man streamed it, all that shit. Lo and fucking behold. So let me read this. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the most high power, that will send a famine in the land, not, of, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Yeah, so basically hearing the words of the Lord, that's what Esau's, he's salivating for that time. He wants it to be where you ain't hearing shit about no Hebrews, you ain't hearing about no Bibles. He wants to basically be able to push his agenda in peace. Because the thing is, is, you know, that chip, Mark of the Beast being pushed out, everyone that sees an implantable microchip, white, white Edomites, you know, Bible belters be talking about, oh, that's the Mark of the Beast. You got the simpletons that are just jumping on it. But then you got, it's known, Hey, that's, that's talking about the mark of the beast. And it says what? Um, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro and seek the, the word of the Lord, the word of Yahweh, and they shall not find it. Yeah, so that's going to be a thing where that word's going to be cut off, man. And that's, you know, you can see we're coming into that time. Everything's blowing up. We're in the time of Pesach as well. So, boy, shit's blowing up, man. Esau's looking, you know, Esau's, he, he's been fearing the word from the beginning. He wants his, the word to, to shut down, man. That's what he's looking to do, man. But, hey, you know, when it, come, when it goes down, hey, regardless, Esau's still going down, man. This place is still done, man. It's still toast. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll leave it there, man. Uh, praise the Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem, Kadash. Shalom, Shalom.